So the mice are checked daily, every single day of the year. Um, that's the first job we do when we come in in the morning, just to check every cage um, to make sure all the mice are well and make sure they all have food and water. And then these cages are changed weekly. We produce our own mice in a separate ward from the one that I work in. Um, it's our, what we call our clean ward. Although the, ward, the building is a clean building, it's our cleanest ward and everyone that works in there has to shower in. Um, that's where all of the matings are set up to produce the main mice for our centre. Um, and they, depending on what um, we're researching into, um, depends on how long we keep them for, how long they stay with us for. Um, so we have different projects, such as ageing projects, when obviously the mice will stay with us for a bit longer because we're looking into problems of ageing, such as just osteoporosis. Check the water level. Move the wire tray. Top up the food. A little sprinkle of new bedding and a little sprinkle of their old bedding too, just to give a bit of scent in there and make them feel more at home when they go in. This tube actually is not too bad, so that can go in again. And then check each mouse gently but firmly. Popping them in the next page. There we go. The diet that we give them is specially designed um, for our mice. It's designed to deliver the correct amount of nutrition that they need. Each, all the cages are cleaned and sterilised before they're brought back in to the ward for us to use, um, as are the bottles as well. And our, bo our, our water is also um, triple filtered and chlorinated. Um, and normally we'd house five adult, up to five adults in one cage base. These are about eight weeks old, these ladies. We make their lives in here as natural as we possibly can by giving them um, environmental enrichment, such as, as you've seen, the cardboard tube and the, and the paper bedding. Um, we try to avoid housing them singly. Um, mostly they're in groups of five in a cage. Um, in matings they'll be in trios, which is two females and a male. So here we have a cage with just two mice. So this one I'm just going to top up the food. Have a little look. They're both hiding in the tube. Have a little look and make sure they're both looking well. They've both got good, nice coats and bright eyes look really well and active and they've made a nice little nest in there too so I'm sure they'll be more than happy to stay in that cage for another week. Yeah there are certain strains in here um, that I do prefer because of the way that they look. Um, some have got multicoloured coats and some are a little bit more chubby than others so that kind of makes them more endearing somehow. So we never worry about um, having too much food in the cage because mice don't tend to overeat they just eat until they're full and then they go off and go, um, make a nest and go to sleep. Or chew their tube, which these ones haven't. Oh, our choice of bedding is paper, shredded paper. Um, it comes quite, quite compressed. Um, so we put a sprinkle in and the mice have to make a bit of an effort to take it apart and fluff it up, which gives them something to do and makes a nice fluffy nest at, nest at the end of it. The material in the bottom of the cage um, may just look like everyday sawdust but actually it's aspen wood chip and it's as dust free as we can possibly get it so it's no, so their environment is dust free and um, clean and nice and absorbent. So this is quite a clean cage as well. Just a little sprinkle of food needs in that one. At the end of their lives they are humanely cold. Um, we're all trained to do this when we first start working here. Um, so when I first came here, I had already had experience um, with gerbils as pets and rats as pets and um, hamsters as pets. So I'd already handled um, some rodents in the past, but 
I'd never actually looked after mice, but I did receive full training in how to handle them, how to care for them, um, lots of training on what to look out for um, in the case of Ill being, them being unwell, that sort of thing, um, and how they like to be socially housed um, rather than singly housed and that sort of thing. So we are given a lot of training when we first come here. But there is a definite advantage to having had experience of rodents in the past. 